Hello everyone, and welcome back to Plankbrow Season 3, Episode 4 And I must say, it is an absolute beautiful morning On the Plankbrow server today And you guys are probably thinking, Leah <laughs> Why do you say beautiful like that? That's because we have like been working with bees today and I'm actually so excited for this because I've never worked with bees in survival in such a long time, not until like they first came out or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go and start looking at some bees and the reason I'm going to need bees is because I want to build a bee sanctuary, like a small bee sanctuary next to like the zoo area that I'm building. I've got that planned there. I want to build a bee farm that's going to be like underneath it, underground, out of the way type thing. And I also want to go ahead and build a, um, I want to build a shop today. And for the start of the shop, it's going to be selling bee products. And we're going to change it as time goes along. And if it gets, if it gets more successful, I'm, I'm going to add more things to it, so I'm going to go ahead and look for a beehive and I'm going to see you guys in just a quick second when I find one. Number two. Number three. Alright, we are back. We got four beehives all together, so we are going to let them out real quick. Hopefully every single one of them got bees. If not, we're going to go through them and plant some flowers nearby. And we need to go ahead and quickly get a pair of shears. I'm going to be using the shears to shear this. Collect all of the honeycomb. Which I only managed to get through. Oh, here it is. We've got nine honeycomb. Awesome. I'm going to have to definitely breed up these bees a bit and um, please start some of the hives. I think I'm going to go for, I think, 20, 20 hives, fill all them with bees, that'll be 60, 60 bees in it, yeah, yeah that'll be fine. Alright guys, we finally have every single one of the beehives with three bees inside them. This took such a long time. That's actually the next day. And I've been at this for a couple of hours today, a couple of hours last night. We finally got all these beehives done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on the building and I think the front of it's going to be like here or something. This is where I'm going to put the door so we've got a bit of terraforming we need to do like this wee bit and this bit over here. But it shouldn't be too bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build up like step by step. I'm going to be doing the frame and then I'm going to be doing like the, re the main bit of the build and then probably decoration and like just little wee short skips. So I'll be back once the frame's done. Alright, we are back on the server <clears throat> and it looks like. It looks like we've been pranked. Oh my god. Wagon machine, Rilla Industries, what? Oh my god, it's so laggy. Can I not kill any of them? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. What? Um, <laughs> Moving sound, friendly creatures off. Oh my god, Joe! What have you done? Oh, oh, um, there's so much chicken, it's so laggy. Oh my god, Joe. Alright, let's just go kill all the chickens. And, oh, dear god. Oh, I just saw the sign. You mad, bro. Uh, well, it looks like Jewrilla is going to be coming back on the server, which is going to be good. But how did I, 
I'm just going to guess that disables that, so we could just dump all of those eggs in there. I am kind of mad. This is... I don't know how he managed to go ahead and do this. But... I am actually... I'm not mad, actually, no, I'm not mad, because look at all the chickens I'm getting. And obviously I can use these eggs for... Oh! We got a chicken egg! Pog! Oh my god, we actually got a chicken egg. That's amazing. Alright, let's just go and kill the rest of these chickens. And... Did he do anything else? Did he rename the not chapel or that? Anything else in my chest? Um, I'm not going to put that back, but did he mess up with anything? I can put that chicken head in there. Alright, but... Wait, where did all the eggs go? Oh, they went into the hopper. Maybe I should let this go for a bit longer. And, oh, uh. Oh, yeah, let's, let's let this run for a bit longer. And I'll use that as a miniature chicken farm slash XP farm for just now. And I think that's going to be great. Anyway, heading away from that, we have successfully done the, like, the outer bit of it, the, ah, oh, I forgot the word for this, it's like, the frame, that's the word, I've done the frame for this, except I just need to add some stairs along here. Hey, stop shooting at me. Really, dude? Get wrecked. Get freaking wrecked. I uh, will keep that, actually. Um... We've done the frame, all I need to do now is start working on the glass, so there's going to be like a full layer of glass here, except from when these logs are, so there's going to be like wooden planks here, wooden planks in the corners, and then there's going to be like glass in these whole bits. And then I'm going to add the glass to the roof, and let's see how it looks after I'm done with it. Alright, we are back, we have added the glass into the where the windows go and the only thing we really need to do now is decorate this building because oh we missed one piece of glass there that's okay we can fix that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some leaves and this just gives it the feel the feel of what I, I, I was hoping that this build would look like you know Okay, so I've done a wee bit of work around here. Um, I've added the beehives outside. I've done the inside as well. So we've got a load of bees just around, which I kind of like. Hopefully, hopefully nobody kills them or they don't die or anything. So they they shouldn't. They should be well protected. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to be doing the redstone and this is going to take me a little while so I'm definitely going to take my time on doing this since I've never really done redstone like this before and I'll probably be just using the image that I have on my creative test world to make these automatic farms and then I'll show you guys how it looks and how it works after it's finished and obviously I'm going to be doing some testing and some AFK and stuff like that to see how it goes. Alright, we are here, uh, back in the base. And we have, somehow this farm's been running while I've been away. And we got all of this stuff here. And even these hoppers are backed up a bit. All of these are full. And Jarby's here. So we're just going to get in a call with Jarby. Because he said he wants to buy some honey. Alright, so I heard you came here looking for some honey. I did. I did come here for some honey. Alright, well if you want to look in this chest here. I've got a wee bit of honey. Just a small amount. 
Oh, damn. Is this going to damn, be enough? That's a... That would be like heaps. Yeah, I don't know what happened last night. There's only like a few stacks when I went off to bed. But this morning, someone must have been in this area quite a lot and loaded up this farm. And it's made a lot Jeez. Of so what's like your prices for your shop? Well, it's usually going to be one diamond for 16 bottles. But since you're doing bulk, I feel like I can maybe do four diamonds for a stack of honey block. Or half a stack, sorry, half a stack. Four diamonds for half a stack of honey blocks. Yeah, that's like half priced compared to what everyone else will be getting. Um Alright, I'll pay I'll pay eight diamonds for a stack then. That's what? Well if oh, it's yeah, four yeah. diamonds for <laughs> half. <laughs> right, yeah. That yeah. that's math, yeah. that's math. Alright, let me go and make you the bottles real quick. That you want the honey is. blocks? Ah, uh, yes, please. Alright, do I keep the bottles or? Um, nah, you can reuse them. Awesome. Alright, almost. There you go, here I'll is probably your just be stack of honey in. blocks, mate. Yo, let's go. Okay, let me just. I'm just going to start what? separating these back into these because I'm kind of running low on bottles. Are you thinking about making any other um, shops? Possibly. What do you have in mind? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to use that one shop and just upgrade it over time. Yeah. Kind of what Exuma done on his Hermitcraft. He just upgraded his shop over time. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Alright friends, we are back at the house and we have made ourselves 8 diamonds profit. So I think I'm going to make this joker box my profit box. And we're just going to stick it in here. What I'm going to be doing now though, is I went out and gathered a bunch of spruce. And we are going to be using the spruce to um, make a shop. And this shop is going to be selling the honey and the, um, it's going to be selling the honey and it's going to also be selling the honeycomb. So the honey bottles and the honeycomb. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the plot real quick actually before I go off and build it. So the plot I'm going to be building is over here and I picked this area because I don't know what this is. I don't think someone's going to be claiming this and... There's also enough room nearby to upgrade your shop. Mostly we have another shop coming soon. Future shop of the dye shop won't be this small. Okay. So we've got a dye shop coming along, which is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and work on the shop. And I'll show you once I am finished. And here we are at the shop. I have got everything stocked up. And this is just like a wee mini stall just now. This is... So just going to be here just now. We might upgrade this in the future, depending on how sales go and stuff like that. But as you can see, we have little like honey type banners, and we've completely stocked this up like so. So it's thirty two honeycomb for one diamond and sixteen honey bottles. For one diamond. Hopefully, people will be buying these because. Otherwise, I would have done this for nothing. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. It's been a roller coaster this episode. I've actually enjoyed it so much. This will probably be one of my favourite episodes to record. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.